That soda's gonna be uh, 250. Okay, and then he just starts reaching down on his fucking crotch. No, no! Hey! Need Salutations, DJ. fellow fuckers. It's us, the oh, Bad Take oh Delete crew. It's That's hot us. as balls. Yeah, it's, it's like hot as degrees. shit. There's, There's no AC in, the in France. I'm dying. <laughs> They're yeah, they never all quite all that the Frenchmen out. surrounding the one <laughs> AC unit they all share. <laughs> yeah. Do you, have, do you at least have some fans? Or anything, I do Dev? have a fan. You might be able to okay. hear it in the background, unfortunately. Oh, no, it's, it's, it's clapping fine. for you and cheering you on. <laughs> yeah, my fans are turned off because I like to suffer for this, but I guess Dev doesn't want to suffer for this. <laughs> no, well, I'm I mean, sorry. No one yeah. turning on your fans is kind of like the, the path to failure yeah. and controversy. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to <laughs> try turning on the fans. I get the joke. No disrespect. Oh, no disrespect. That was so smooth. <laughs> yeah, no, um, when I saw that Dr. Disrespect stuff, I was like, well, surely he wasn't in, like, any NBA games or anything, or, like, Call of Duty. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> you know, he got kicked out of, uh, the 49ers, I guess. Uh, he got kicked out of the NBA 2K 2023 as, like, a side mission. Maybe it's just me, but I don't like it, like, when the creator of, like, they just put the creator in the game, and I don't mean, like, ooh, putting creators in games is bad, but, like, that's clearly him wearing the fucking shades and, like, his outfit. Like, you couldn't just be a random guy, like, a new OC, you know what I mean? Like JJ, if we had you, would you just would just be like your character or like your your icon giving quests to it people? It would be a random <laughs> it'd be a random NPC with my name and no other yeah. likeness. You see, that would be funny if, if it was like, hey, it's the newspaper guy, JJ, go, go talk to him from quests. Exactly. You just gotta figure out which one's me. But I was reading up on it that not only did he cheat on his wife, uh, he was Whoa, sexting a minor, and apparently he was hitting on a trans woman, despite the fact that he's transphobic. And I was like, on the span of like one month, man? Wow, okay. <laughs> Jesus. And and I remember when this is all going down and he, he said like, I'm not going to talk about what happened. I was acquitted. Nothing bad happened. And everyone's like, well, you don't have to break NDA. You can just say you didn't, you didn't sex the minor. And then he released that big old document that was like, okay, I did it. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Champions Club are in shambles right now. What's the Champions Club about? That's like his fucking Twitch subs or whatever. He calls them the Champions mm -hmm. Club, which is so funny. Oh, <laughs> someone got a tattoo of him. And I'm not talking like a tiny one, like a big <gasps> ass tattoo of his face. No. That sucks. Um, An easy way to cover it up would just be putting like jail bars. <laughs> I wouldn't double down on it because yep. then like there's always the conversation of like if they didn't immediately know you already have the tattoo So you went out and got a doctor disrespect in prison tattoo. It's because you hate pedophiles cool. that much Well, I mean like I've seen the like, have you ever gotten a tattoo removed to JJ or a tattoo? I have not no I think it's like this I don't know if they like zap it out of your skin or something because uh tattoos are like metal So you can't really use them in MRI machines because they hurt. I heard they use a wizard actually. They, they remove wizard. the whole limb. The limb. <laughs> Maybe they skin graft it. It's oh do you want to know a cool fact a cool science fact? Uh, if you lose weight like a bunch of weight all at once you have a lot of excess skin and some hospitals say if we can surgically remove the excess skin for you we'll, we'll do it for free if you give it to the burn ward because we need some skin for the burn ward yay i like science don't you, don't you like science i'd get crazy tattoos right before <laughs> so they just like stretch down or something or like stretch out or what uh, just like just insane people tattoos just like skeletons and fucking fi i don't know fire and roller coasters i'd be I pretty sick of the sleeve out. i could never get a tattoo i'd be paranoid it's off-centered what about you jj would you get Really? Not JJ. Dev. Dev, would you get a tattoo? Uh, I've been considering it for a while, but I'm very, very particular, and I want to mm -hmm. make sure that I go through the right avenues to get exactly what I want. Uh, but there's uh, definitely a possibility that I'll get it uh, during my trip to California this year. Why don't you wow. try uh, prink Prinker, Inker? It's like this digital tattoo thing. Like you can uh, scan it on your skin the last three days. You can program it to do whatever you want. You can try it with that. It'd be fun. I'll think about it. You get that cool mm -hmm. S on your arm. Cool S. The, do the doogie. The cool the S. <laughs> you know what else is, is pretty cool to S? Awful, awful transition. It has to do with Batman. <laughs> Actually, I was going to talk about AI being sued, but okay, let's talk about Batman. What would you think of the trailer for, for Batman, the, the new show movie, Batman Cape Crusader? First of all, terrible name. I think they need to cut it down. It's a long title, like you just said, but yeah. otherwise, it looks really cool. Everyone's yeah. mad about Two-Face. I don't get why. Did they did they give reasons? Any reasons White. you saw? Is, what race is Two-Face supposed to be? Racially ambiguous. I guess, because in the animated series, he was kind of like a mysterious origin, but in kinda this like, one, he's uh, just Lex Yeah, like Lex Luthor, where you can't tell, and you look at it at a certain angle, it's like, oh, okay. But then it's well, I always thought he was a light-skinned kind of guy, like Lex Luthor. Yeah. You've never seen him with hair, so we can't be like, oh, we can kind of guess his origin based on his hair texture, but not really. Like, I saw people debating on, on Twitter, it's like, no, Lex is black in the in the animated series, but in this one, in the new one, very yeah. white, very pale, and he has a lot of head of hair. Just say how they I want to say, yeah. I need to clarify <laughs> that my rig has a hard time keeping a smile so it, it just because it stopped smiling when you said it was black that's not that was my reaction all right i didn't lose yeah. my smile because of that it's just the rig okay just the uh, rig. you're fucked up jj it was oh, the rig oh fuck you you jumping <laughs> rig thing <laughs>
Yeah, so, uh... I could do so many jumping jacks. One, two, three. Here's a flip. Whoa! Whoa! I, oh. I did a flip. Whoa! <laughs> oh! I did see some people get uh, a bit angry that Alfred's uh, heavy, and I was like, and? He used to be... Oh, he, he, okay. That's what? who he was like, when he first came out. He Shut was always up. heavy. Oh, yeah, he was? Yeah, he was a chunky boy before, and then they slimmed him down. Oh, okay. Let me consult the books. True. This was true. fact-checked by true American patriots. Fa by a true Mac American, American patriot. True by American patriot. True American Americans. Americans. This, we... We, Americans. we certified the true patriot. I like liberals. how uh, in the Superman shit, because uh, a lot of Superman stuff has come out recently. Like this this one set they're doing in very public. They've yeah. introduced so many goddamn characters like uh, Mr. Terrific, uh, Lois Lane wearing her iconic purple outfit, uh, Le Lex Luthor, and some other like- they even included Superman. Yeah, even Superman was there. And I saw some funny tweets that was like, I showed both these pictures to my wife and she was like trying to figure out who, yeah. like what actors are playing the guy. And she's like, wait, are these the same person? <laughs> Ah, it worked. It worked. They but gave people, him the millennial yeah. hair. Well, people were saying, does he put like hair gel in when he wants to be Superman? <laughs> like, as he changed hair texture? To his, he goes to the green room and they do it for him. Maybe he's wearing a wig when he's Clark. True. Um, I did see people debating about the Jesse Eisenberg yeah. baldness and the, the new guy's baldness because you can clearly tell in the new one he's wearing like a skin, like a makeup thing. I mean, like, if, if you're playing Lex Luthor, you gotta commit, man. Just shave your head. Come on. <laughs> Come on. You can grow the hair back. But being Lex Luthor, that's forever. <laughs> <laughs> what, what about you, JJ? American patriot. Hmm? If, he, if you were to play Lex Luthor in a live action adaptation for some reason, would you shave your head or would you just do the makeup I, thing? I would just bleach my hair and dye it like <laughs> as close to my skin tone as I can and see if anyone notices. <laughs> so that guy's pretty pretty large cranium, I would say. Yeah, it like fluctuates and moves in the wind. <laughs> His skin flies off during high wind. Yeah, and what do you think of Lois's iconic purple outfit being shown in? Lois. I'm so happy about it because it's the bare minimum and it's all we wanted. One thing I'll say that's so funny is online, yep. you have all of these people that fucking hate that the Snyder cut is done or whatever. Mm -hmm. These fucking low-life bastards. Yeah. And, and I'm so, if you're in the audience and you're one of them, uh, sorry, yep. not sorry, true American patriot. No, sorry. Here. But anyways, the the, the 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 biggest complaint I keep seeing is like, oh, it looks so much like the comics. Oh, it's like just appeasing the fans. Your your biggest complaint is that like, like that we're happy, happy <laughs> that we're like people looking at this are like, hey, this is what we wanted. Ugh, gross. Yeah, because uh, Henry Cavill Superman has been out since 2013, so we've had like a decade worth of stuff of like people getting attached to the character. And I get that, but like, it didn't do so well in theaters. And Black Adam did not do so well. Like, imagine if Black Adam earned a billion dollars at the box office, you wouldn't have this new Superman. <laughs> Dude, we would have Black Adam 3 by now. Yeah, out of all the movies, they could have just tried again with Black Adam 2. It's not like Black Adam didn't earn money, you know? It's not like it didn't earn money. It's just kind of like, should have thrown in a Green Lantern in there. Maybe uh, The Flash. <laughs> that could have been, been nice. Yeah, they should have thrown in an A The Flash. Well, maybe not The Flash. Well, just A The Flash. A The Flash. Because uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson has an issue with running late to productions. Like, uh, in his most recent Netflix movie, he cost them, I think, $250 wow. million dollars extra. So I'm sure Black Adam was like a indie budget film or whatever when they're first filming it. But then Brain the Rock Johnson was like, I'm going to be late a bit. Maybe two weeks, maybe a few weeks. Maybe and that's pissing why it got some so bottles. Expensive. So the pissing bottle, we had a discussion about this. It's efficient. Like, if, if he's going to be late, you got to save time you're, somewhere. You're not, you're never <laughs> not going to sound weird fucking justifying pissing in bottles. You've never had the option, not a good though. One. You've never had not the a option. Good, well, well, I mean. You well, know that. It's you way you don't know that. Come on. It just becomes more of like a first person shooter. Yeah. <laughs> way easier. Uh, anyway, speaking of movie. Uh, yeah, you've seen a movie? Last week I saw the the ghost movie, like of the band Ghost called Right Here Right Now. Mm -hmm. Uh it was basically just like a, their final concert before they changed singers or something. I I don't know the ghost lore. Um, the ghost lore. But like apparently like they're switching out singers cuz they do that. It's like a thing that they do every couple of albums and this was like a movie of their final concert with like a little story stitch in between uh i thought it was mm -hmm. cool the music was cool the performance was cool and everybody on stage was hot did uh the people jump up and sing like in the Eras tour Taylor swift or is it kind of like Everyone a has I, silence i don't know what you're referencing but i'm gonna just say yeah so Taylor Taylor Everyone swift had a straight face the entire time <laughs> yeah um so Taylor swift had like her concert in theaters and people were like jumping around singing along to the songs were people were people singing along to this concert in the theater? oh yeah of course Who were you singing along oh, in the theater oh in the theater, the theater. um I was in the front row, so I, I couldn't see if anyone was doing that. You didn't hear anyone? But there were people who came in with makeup. I feel like if I'm going to go to a, a concert that was pre-recorded, I'm going to sing. I'm going to sing. I'm <laughs> going there. It's why it's hard to watch musicals like in theaters for the first time because it's like, I want to be a part of it. I want to sing. I want to be a part of it. But, I want to like, be where the people are. Yeah, but you're talking about the right here, right now. And I was like, you're going to a concert that was already recorded. Can't you do that at home? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I... I 
I could. I, I would watch yeah. it again because, as I said, everyone on that stage was fucking hot. Yeah, you know, this is it was pretty hot, pretty 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 hot. <laughs> what, I would say pretty hot, pretty hot. Yeah, what's so hot, uh, Ryan? What's so hot? Uh, no, you no, say it's yourself? just. What's up? No, I was gonna say we watched the new, like the, one of the newer episodes of Superman right before this call. Mm -hmm. Uh, what was it? The Superman, like the most what? eligible Superman. And everyone yep. wanted to fuck Superman. We were right. Congratulations, <laughs> we were right. Everyone wanted to fuck him. <laughs> JJ caught the tail end of it, so he only saw a bit of uh a ca of Kara and everything. But what do you think of what? Superman's Godzilla powers? Uh, I think that's supposed to be like his ice breath. Yeah. Which, which mm, it doesn't work like that in the comics. Mm. But you know. <laughs> It's, they're leaning heavier and heavier into the, like, this, like, anime scene, which is fine. Yeah, you Not like anime. Not my cup of tea, but it, it's still, I, I enjoy it. I do, I mean, whatever. It, it's good. It's fun. It's cute. Yeah, it had some very fun yet predictable moments where it's like, we can't, we can't be seen together as Superman and Lois. You gotta pretend to be single. And Superman's like, okay, Lois, whatever you do. And then he fucks the woman on stage, and Lois is like, wait, wait a second, man. Hold on, I didn't, I didn't say go that far. <laughs> yeah, she wasn't a fan of that part. Not, not a fan, I would say, not a fan. And then he did everyone. He did the astronaut that hated him. Uh, he did the non-binary person that was on there. He did the, yeah. other, the other person. Pride yeah, you, sh you shouted out, yay. <laughs> <laughs> when the, when the they them showed up, yeah, his cousin showed up, and she hasn't tried anything. She hasn't tried ice cream. She hasn't tried hot dogs. And I was telling uh, Dev while we're watching it that Jimmy fucks a lot in the comics, like a lot, surprising amount. So. <laughs> a surprising amount. Yeah, he gets. Yeah, he gets passed around. <laughs> yeah, I, that's not how I would describe it. The Metropolis bicycle. Would. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> when we say like electronic scooters, because those are like a more modern thing. You ever run one of those? Do they I have those in not France? Really, yeah. I wanted yes, to Jesus. when we were in. When we were in Atlanta, I wanted to, but you guys discouraged me. Well, That's this true, way. we did. <laughs> if specifically so, Dev did. Specifically yes, Dev. I. <laughs> That's what. Yeah. So oh, JJ. Popping wheelies. Yeah. <laughs> Would you ride an electric scooter in New York? I've considered it just because it, I want to ride an electric scooter in general. So my theory, that's a very perfectly valid theory, is that if you tried to do that in New York, people would beat you up because they'd think you were too worst. I'd probably Aww. get stabbed and robbed <laughs> of that scooter. Yeah, and then the meter runs out. And then the meter runs out. Yeah, that's that would be like, ugh, cherry on top. Part. The, I, my arm is like backwards on my leg you know once you stop paying money to it it just immediately stops the the wheels and you fly off that's why they're in piles <laughs> Wee! everywhere Wee! i think it's a good idea it's just that it just people just throw them everywhere and they don't worry really, they're not always charged then you have to download an app it's awful i never ridden one of those Ooh. i'm like i'm just gonna walk a little bit it's fine get of i have a question for jj oh shit yeah. that's you that's uh, you what did you think of the new mario and luigi game that got announced uh it looks cute i'm kind of sad that it's not the same team as the other ones yeah because they but... fucking murdered did them <laughs> did you see the french title for it what is it it's called Le Poopy Farter Now. That's not what it's called. <laughs> yes, it is. That's not Ryan, real. Put, a, put it up on screen. Put it up on screen. That's, That's okay, not real. Up. That's not actually yes, what it's no, called. It's That's a lie. Serious. That's not fucking real. Yes, oh my! Wait, hold on. I refuse to believe that's real. That's not real. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. You're just gaslighting me. The chat. Look at topics. You're just fucking lying to me. My, my look at, it's right there. Oh my Avatar's god! Look at that. Look at that, JJ. It's oh in my topics. God. Uh, anyway, speaking what? of Mario, uh, are you guys? This is for both of you. Uh, are you a honk shoe, a honk me me me, or a honk a ah, spaghetti, a ah, ravioli kind of person? I'm a honk snooze snoo kind of person. Just let people know I'm asleep. <laughs> snooze snooze snooze, yeah, I've never heard that one. Honk snooze snooze snooze. Ryan, this evidence sucks. <laughs> what do you mean? You just wrote it out like it was evidence. You just typed it and put it in there. Oh, uh, how about this then? Is that, is that good enough for you? Is that good right there? Is that, is that enough for you? Le poo poo Fuck. pee, -pee? <laughs> It's real. <laughs> it's yeah. le poo poo for turn- what the fuck? <laughs> Le poopy, Fratinelli. What the hell is wrong with your backwards country? <laughs> what the fuck? I love it. I love La all that. Yeah, I saw. Start um, a line going up the Eiffel Tower and just start jumping. <laughs> no. Yeah, if I uh, saw this tweet game. that was like, Nintendo has two oh. strategies to shorten game development, so, so because games take se six to seven years, hiring more people, making double A games, and I was like, wow, really? That that was it. That's all we had to do. Make shorter, like, we don't make triple A games anymore. We make two, double A games, double A batteries, and we just hire more people. I didn't think of that shit. I, I think they're going to be talking about this. Ex they're going to be talking about this exact thing on the debate tonight. Oh yeah. Oh my God, that's right. So there were two. So uh, it's it's the it's the Trump Biden debate. There were two things I'm mad about because it would make it way funnier if the, if it didn't happen. Number one, JJ. Mm-hmm. 
They're gonna meet the mics. If someone goes yeah. over the time, they can meet the mics. Very sad. I, I, it's professional. I like that, but like, come on, man, come on. I want to be very. I think Trump's gonna like yell. Where it's like the mics turned off, but I'm, st I'm not done yet. The American people want to hear me. <laughs> we're gonna miss Biden going into detail about like the auto industry, and he's like, I know you are, but what am I? Like, <laughs> it's not gonna happen now. The second part is that instead of a sev seven second delay that they usually had, there's gonna be a two minute delay to edit things out. I was like, what's the point? What's the fucking point of watching this anymore? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's it, no one's curious why it's in June. So like, no matter how shitty anyone does, they can just bounce right back. Yeah, like, can you imagine on stage the night of? They just both have heart attacks, and we have to wait two extra minutes to find out if that happened or not. <laughs> By the same time, come in fucking like on a, a harness. <laughs> Yeah, he was, uh, have, he, he, yeah. It's gonna be like one of those, like, night show, like, night theater shows where they have people, like, in all black suits holding him up. Yeah, he drank his gamer subs energy, he took his Adderall, he got, like, two weeks of sleep, he is ready for this shit. He is, he is fucking Trump. ready for this shit. <laughs> Trump's gonna be wheeled in like Hannibal Lecter. Do you think he's gonna apply a new spray tan, or do you think he's gonna, like, let his current one just, like, ride out? I think he's gonna come out, like, a completely different race, just to see what happens. <laughs> I mean, didn't he get a facelift or something? Yeah, he got a little facelift that looks yeah, noticeable. Yeah, he already, he already did his little glow up. <laughs> Can he, he please fine. do like a... Yeah. He, he needs to do like a stunt double thing where it's clearly not him. Like, <laughs> a guy com comes and does like a triple backflip, goes behind the podium, and then Trump stands up. <laughs> yeah, we need some more theatrics in the American politics. It was me. I did a backflip. This one goes out to my friend, Sneaky. There he is. That's this person we're <laughs> referencing in this. There he is. You know, I, I sent my friend uh, this image. I'm going to show up on screen right here. And it's like, you excited for this tonight? And she's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Whoa. What? <laughs> what? And I was Why like, do that's, they look like that? Because that's that's what they that's what they always looked like. What do you mean? You mean that's always what they always looked like? Bro, I'm so glad I don't have to care about American politics yeah, you do. anymore. No, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. I, now I have to worry about people fucking shitting in the sun. Well, actually, before we I get do. into that, you do. Uh, you, you do. You have to. You have to. The UN is a United Nations, and we're a part of it. You start to pay attention to us. <laughs> nah. -uh. Anyway, so it was with the shitting in the river. That's that's the story um, that JJ and Dev want to talk about. So. <laughs> So I just, I honestly, <laughs> Ryan just fucking posted it. This is the first time I heard of it. Uh, but apparently, wow, you're not even informed uh, about your own country. No, Surprising. I I'm, I'm, no, I'm sorry. I'm a, I'm a bad, <laughs> I'm a bad Frenchman. Um, yeah. But yeah, so apparently, uh, the people of France are shitting in the Seine in protest. I don't know something about them being like, oh, the river is so clean, you can swim in it, and people are like fuck you, clean the river, we're gonna shit in it, or yeah, something. The, or like the president's the, uh, gonna swim in there to prove that it's clean, and they're just like, we're gonna shit in it and make him die. How would you react if there's like clear visible shit and piss, and he just swims through it anyway, and he's like, see, perfectly fine. <laughs> that should be how you win elections. <laughs> you just swim through shit. He did it, I respect him. There was this, there was this other thing that was, that was interesting. Uh, JJ commented about it, and I don't wanna talk about it. Animators Flash Gits, their yeah. cartoon was taken down because of a trademark violation. Uh, they made like a Bluey parody that was like, like, let's go kill some furries and then people were like um i hate flash kids i actually like that this happened <laughs> what do you think of that jj uh it's definitely kind of it kind of sucks to have to like argue that because as everyone pointed out it's like look i'm not a big flash kids guy right i don't give a fuck for them too much but i don't like the idea of siding mm -hmm. with any company abusing copyright law or like... even just like really being like assholes about it in general mm -hmm. do you know if it wasn't for violent cartoons, like, if it, if it wasn't for parodies of violent cartoons, like, fucking murdering people, Newgrounds wouldn't exist. Like, most Dude. Not early Newgrounds is murdering Robot George Chicken Bush. Robot wouldn't exist either. Yeah, that too. <laughs> JJ. Literally, uh, everyone f shitting on it would be the, are the same people that would see, like, fucking, like, bring me the head of Charlie Brown and think it's the coolest shit ever. <laughs> but all this, because they don't like Flash kits, which, you know, I don't... Yeah, it's fine, right? Fuck them. But, like, if we just allow it to happen to anyone, regardless of if we like it or not, then it's kind of, like, gonna just continue to snowball. Yeah, the difficult thing when it comes to uh, Australian law and when it comes to stuff like this is they'd have to prove that this wasn't defamation because this technically falls less under trademark, or sorry, less under parody and more under... Uh, look how awful this cartoon is, I really hate it, boo, this, this thing sucks, which is a different kind of set of laws, but people weren't saying that. You remember in South Park when Mickey Mouse murdered people, and that was the joke? Yeah. I don't, I don't see them complaining about South Park doing, doing this character, character stuff. <laughs> it's, yeah. it, it's dumb, it's also just, like, mm -hmm. th there are ways you can argue it's parody, there are ways you can argue it's mm -hmm. not. But just, I don't know, I don't see the harm in using characters in a joke. Oh yeah, um... I there was, there was this uh, meme I saw previously, I'll, I'll try and find and put it up on screen, and people were like, 
um, actually, jokes yeah. are supposed to be funny. <laughs> it's like, I don't care if, it, if you didn't think it was funny or not. That's not, that's not what we're talking about here. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, someone re-uploaded it. I watched it. It was, it was fine. It's just their standard affair of, we don't like furries. We don't like them. And, and that was kind of it. That was just kind of it. That was, that was the whole thing. Well, how do you feel like, about that? Fine. Because, I mean, you are like a cat thing. Yeah, a cat <laughs> thing. Um, it's fine. The space marine murdering, murdering some furries, which is fictional. This is all fictional. Uh, this is all fake. This is this is all whatever. Maybe they could have leaned more into the parody, or instead of doing a British or Australian accent, they just got like an American, like someone else entirely yeah. to do it. Maybe they stylized the characters a bit more instead of relying heavily on like what the show looks like. I don't know. Again, it sucks that their cartoon got taken down. It's not very good that people are going like, we hate Flash Gits, so this is this is very good. I'm glad it happens to them. Boo them. <laughs> Oh, by the way, speaking of furries, uh, have you guys ever heard of this, like, cartoon pilot called Three Dog Band? Yeah, uh, I've seen that. What about it? Yeah, it got recommended about the hippo to and me. Elephant. Yes! <laughs> it yeah. got recommended to yeah, me on the YouTube the other day, and I, I'm in love with it. I just, it's so good. It's so cool. Yeah, people were being like, I damn, I didn't know you were like that Three Dog Band. I think it was too <laughs> adult for what it's trying to do. Like, if this is more of an adult Fair. swim thing, it would have worked. And not, like, like pure adult swim. Mm -hmm. It's just a poorly hidden fetish. <laughs> the fucking rhino elephant scene. Yeah, classic, classic furry rhino elephant for that. scene. We know all about that. It's so crazy. He gets pulverized by these big <laughs> fucking animal ass. <laughs> it's funny because he gets squished by these big asses. Well, have you seen the game He's a Mighty Joe Off? Though. Huh? Have you seen the game Mighty Joe Off? Mm -mm. Yeah. So JJ knows what this is. So people on Twitter found this game. Uh, it's an 8-bit game in which you play as a BDSM-loving lesbian, and your job is to go up this tower, and when you get to the very end, your mistress says, Thank you, but you took too long, and she kicks you out, and you gotta do it again. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone on Twitter found it and liked it, and I saw a tweet that got a bunch of likes that's like, I guess putting fetish stuff in a game is fine if it's very hyper-specific. <laughs> Uh, it seems like a fun. It seems like a fun game. Seems like a nice play that, that you should play. I don't know where to find it. I, I don't know if it's on Steam or not, but you should go find it. It's got it's got a cool character design. If you're of horns. age, if you're of age, yeah. appropriate age. Yep. Yeah, just like how it's the appropriate time to talk about the question because yeah. we ask people questions. Let's go. And, and we're gonna talk about that. Do you prefer superhero costumes to be more grounded in reality? Or more comic book based, and then we got some, we got some, we got some answers for that. Od twenty five. If grounded means dark leather with no colors whatsoever, like the old X Men movies, then I would rather have Nightwing's old costume. Oh, yeah, what do you think of those two thousands X Men costumes, JJ? Shit. <laughs> I think like they're a product of their time. They're cute for what, mm -hmm. it, what they were, but it's been great seeing like color being introduced to the world. Mm -hmm. Now this one's interesting right here. The real panda jam. I prefer yeah. grounded, but still colorful, like Deadpool's outfit. I think Deadpool and mercenaries having a complicated outfit makes sense because they need like grenades and ammo so i think i think that's perfectly fine to have a bunch of extra shit on there i like the hulks w which one the one where he wears pants and the one where it rips he goes uh oh <laughs> he's naked uh oh uh oh uh oh Ooh. yeah they made the joke about that in the avengers where it's like hey hulk, can we design some pants so your hulk thing doesn't like flap around and hit someone in the face and he's like nope <laughs> It's part of my anger. I can't. I get so angry. I just take off my pants. And it's like, why is this guy? Why is this guy on our team? The Hulk pervert. What do you think I, the Hulk calls his dick? His penis, probably. Yeah, come on. What do you mean? There has to be. He has to have a nickname for it or something. Dude? Come on, dude. Do you have a nickname for? Uh, let's not continue this conversation. But, what are you saying, JJ? Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say that I, I I think that a lot of people bring up like Christopher Reeve's suit from the 1970s 80s Superman, where it was like very clearly just straight yeah. out of the comic books and shit. Mm -hmm. I think that that only works in a world where it's somewhat practical where he's not fucking flying at like mock speed yeah like flying through fires and shit when he's just like punching guys and flying around it works yeah. that's why i kind of like the the mod the new one coming up with uh mm -hmm. james gunn because it looks it's not skin tight it just looks like something that can like actually sustain him flying through a fucking fire or whatever yeah people kind it more to like a kryptonian military uniform or like a formal wear kind of thing and that makes more sense you know, I still hope the cape is like what he was wrapped in as a baby in in the uh in the in the space pod. I like that. I like that origin. You know what I mean? His baby butt on the cape. Nope. Huh? Eight chill dude. Yeah. If I want to be in reality, I'd watch the boys. I want comic book, wholesome, fun, hope from super spaceman and other DC characters. They didn't capitalize Superman, by the way. <laughs> Bell loser. We got one more. We'll do one more from here. Then we're talking about the server. Yeah. Space baby Ted. 
I've heard them be comic book based. I do not care if you do a completely new story. I also don't care if studios adapt a certain comic book story and make some changes to work better in the movie. I just want superheroes to be superheroes. They're supposed to be larger than life characters. They're supposed to be dressed ridiculously. They're supposed to represent something more instead of looking cool. They're supposed to be in a fictional world, so let's make them fiction. Also, Superman Mr. Terrific costume looks amazing. Yeah, I think the Mr. Terrific costume is pretty, pretty easy. Cool jacket, cool face thing. <laughs> AJ? Just put them in a silly, like, like skin tight underwear, like, like super colorful thing, and then just slap a leather jacket on top. Perfect. Oh yeah, that was literally excited. Smallville mm -hmm. and the Arrowverse. That's everything they did. It was just get a leather jacket <laughs> version of whatever suit, and it's good. If yeah, people were happy when they saw his trunks, that Superman has his underwear on the outside, and we're like, thank you. <laughs> I'm so glad that's back. The and American all the press photos, yeah. Alive. And all the press photos of him like being captured. I remember seeing a tweet that was like, "Oh hell no, they got Superman." And it's like Superman killed in the Bronx. <laughs> He's like facing down and everything. <laughs> Topics of the server, because we have a server that's pretty funny. There's a lot of things going on. People typed a lot in this one, like yeah. like a lot of stuff in this one. Our yeah. Hello 4422, there's a 44 and 22 in that. I don't know what that means. I believe for certain movies, superhero costumes can be as ridiculous as they need to be, but when it comes to TV series, they need to be taken over a realistic approach. Do they? Do they, JJ? What? I'm gonna go with yes. Very, very on the contrary. <laughs> Costume feels like a uniform worn by Kryptonians. Oh shit, that's what I said. Uh, that's cool. However, I just wish it was more comic accurate, as in Ma Kent made it for Clark. I do like it's brighter though. Maybe she did. Maybe she's just very good at sewing, making cool patterns. <laughs> What'd you think of that, JJ? The Ma, Ma I think, Kent. I think Ma Kent is tired. She can yep. hire a team to do it at this point. Do you think they're gonna do the thing? Can't rest. Like in a Spider-Man films, uh, subsequently every trilogy they make the, the like the them younger. Do you think Ma Kent is gonna be like 60s, maybe late 50s? I think Ma Kent's gonna be like 16. <laughs> <laughs> they're just gonna keep making him keep making him younger. You might as well. I don't think that's. I don't think it's gonna work timeline wise. I think the, I think Ma and Pa Kent should be like canonically like five. Canonically, and they just try to figure it out. Yeah, I always like the origin that they live in like bumfuck nowhere, no matter what decade it is like they might have a cell phone they might have an iphone you'll never know <laughs> i always like that origin. like their modern glass house oh yeah that's what we won from superman being being adopted by like a rich family they could be fun they, they could be they could be very funny jj a dumb raccoon i feel like for live action what? having a bit of realism with the outfits is a must Although for a case like Superman, who is a superhero known for his posture and build, the new Superman suit feels a bit goofy, but doesn't give much definition to the character or make his posture visual. I don't like the fake abs on, on costumes. What do you think those? I yeah. think they're tacky. Same. Yeah, because like the guy's going to work out anyway, and you might see Giant anyway, like mm. whenever he takes off his shirt. So like, why have extra abs? It's like, I know he's strong. He lifted up a car. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also, oh yeah, it's, um, are you of the notion, JJ, that Superman has to work out? That he needs to work out as in, like, he like needs he's... to look like he's muscular? Yeah, like, the actual in-universe Superman. Like, does he have to lift trains or, or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, like, like that he's Incredible, powerful. right? Where, like, he sees yeah, he's... the train even though he's super? He should be... He should be going through the exact same regimen as Mr. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, because it makes it more grounded. Maybe that's what we need, not the superhero costumes being more grounded, just seeing them working out, having a good time. Like in the Superman episode that we just watched, they brought up mm -hmm. a very good point that they never seen Superman like go to a store. He should. Mm -hmm. He should just go to a store, buy some Skittles, and it's like, I love these things. <laughs> <laughs> They're fun. Where does he or, keep his money? I like them because they have the letter S on them. I like the idea that he just has a lot of money in his fists. So he doesn't have to answer that question. He's like, oh yeah, my suit has pockets. Maybe he just tucks the bills in his like undies like a hooker. Oh my god. Like, he just hands the, the, the clerk a sweaty $5 bill and the clerk has to be like Shh, thanks sure okay man thanks i mean it's superman i have to accept it <laughs> that soda's gonna be uh 250 okay and they just starts reaching down on his fucking crotch no no <laughs> <laughs> you see all the gross noises that <laughs> <It's like laughs> <laughs> Superman sweats, doesn't he sweat? No. That's a weird quite he doesn't? No, he's not allowed. Okay, so then that's fine. I think I Every think time he's good. about to sweat, he sucks it back in. <laughs> does, he need, does he need to use deodorant? No. Does Superman just smell nice naturally? He smells like flowers. These are the kinds of questions. <laughs> These are the kinds of questions like Do you think when uh remember in Mall Rats? I, I think yeah, this is in Mall Rats, where people kept asking Stan Lee which characters fucked and like how how uh, what their dicks looked like. Do you think he got tired of that? I Stan think he Lee? went home and started drawing. <laughs> Fans want to know what the Hulk's PB looks like when expanded. And Steve Ditko is like, N -n no, <laughs> no. But JG has those cells. He has those cells up in his room. I do. We actually found them at Momocon. We didn't talk about it before. But there's this guy. Uh, like in the old cartoons, they would have the uh, the artist whatever draw whatever they want for free, have a good time. And it was a lot of Hulk dicks. And JG has one. A lot of, them. of Hulk dicks. 
A lot I of Hulk do. dicks. A lot of Spider-Man dicks. A lot of Spider-Man ass, actually. They know what the people want. Spider cheeks. The spider cheeks. Yeah. Last one. Ditamic. As far as topics goes, Robot Dreams. Holy shit, you need to watch it. Maybe one of the best anime movies I've seen ever. It's so fucking good. I absolutely cannot recommend it enough. As far as comic book movies go, I prefer to be wacky and goofy. The way I see it. Also, I gotta specify that I like, pressed enter every time. They didn't type like a whole paragraph. They pressed enter after every, every sentence. <laughs> Uh, if you have a movie that takes itself seriously but sh is shit, it brings down the quality in the other movies and the franchise by proxy. And nowadays, most comic book movies I've seen except Venom have been taking themselves a bit too seriously. They didn't say that. They said really seriously. That's dyslexia I have right. And it'd just be nice to have some wacky bullshit happen from time to time. I actually have a lot more on this topic as a whole, but it's discussion for another time. Oh, you said costumes. Fuck. <laughs> Thank so you, what Dynamic. is Robot Dreams? Do you do either of you know what that is? I was too lazy to Google it myself. It's it about is the robot that fucks a dog. Excuse me. It's about yeah. a dog who's very lonely. Please tell me you're making that shit up. He buys a robot, and it's a great film because there's no dialogue, which means that translators don't gotta translate shit. <laughs> Yahoo. I need to watch it. Uh, it seems like a nice, cute movie. It's adult, so there would be I mean, Wolf Dick. If if JJ wasn't lying about the fucking the dog thing, I would have. I would hope it's so. Oh yeah, uh, we're only a few months away from that news article that said within 10 what? years we'll get sex robots. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen people counting down the days where it's like six months left. <laughs> six months left. Good. There's some real freaks out there. Uh, it's no different than having sex with your Alexa. <laughs> Oh what? god, I hate that fucking video. <laughs> oh, what? I wasn't actually referencing anything. What do you mean, what video? Y you don't know the, yeah, the video where, where, where he's like, he's like whisper talking to the Alexa and like making her fart. It's like <laughs> it probably has like, like four, everyone knows it, that one. It, it, it's definitely got like 12 views. It's <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah and yeah. you just, yeah, it's just iconic. And, and 11 of them are me. Yeah. I saw a tweet that was like, it is, is a parody, I hope. That was, it was something along the lines of, yeah, my friend likes to sexually harass ChatGPT. And so ChatGPT had to bring its ChatGPT friends in the same, to tell him to stop and he said no and he keeps <laughs> sexually assaulting chat gbt and i was like you you shouldn't be doing that yeah. it remembers things now <laughs> it was even fuck it was worse than that it was i guess we'll watch our language trauma. yeah yeah He's, he had it it was a dating ai and he would yeah. do that to the ai and he'd brag about it to his work friends <laughs> by the way the guy that's doing this is in his 50s yeah and Ew. then he would she they would bring her a, a chat whatever ai friends and they're like hey stop <laughs> doing that and he's like, if you don't fuck it, if you don't help me here, I'm gonna do it to you. And so he convinced the AI <laughs> friends to help him do that. Oh, that's awful. You can Technology. use ChatGPT in Apple products now. <laughs> if someone really wants to test the privacy policy of ChatGPT on Apple West, you should just do that. And if Apple catches you, you can be like, oh, I thought you said no one was looking at my shit. Yeah. <laughs> Follow Dovin draw quote. Dovindra everyone quote. should be doing that on their phones. Everyone, everyone should be doing that exactly all the time that. ever. <laughs> but you know we shouldn't be doing what? what this episode no more. But we got we got to tell you a, a little thing that we're gonna do. Uh oh. I think that we're gonna do. What do you mean? Uh oh. What do you mean? Uh oh. Don't be mad at us, guys. Don't be mad at us, guys. <laughs> uh. So we've had a long discussion, it's actually rather short, about where the channel is going and how we feel about it. We're starting a new one. <laughs> five more years of five bad years. Tickly, guys. We've decided five more years. That's yep. what we decided, right? Five more yep. years. Yeah, no, um, mm -hmm. we wanted to do five more episodes. Have a nice little send off for this. Five more episodes. What? Never. Just pretend that an five? episode is a year long, JJ. Just episode is a year long. You said, are we still recording this? You said it was five, five more years. Five more years. You said five Time more moves years differently for JJ. What? Yeah, no, um, when, so That's when we were first doing, making uh, this. videos about old shit. <laughs> what? When we were making this originally, we were kind of just like going at it, kind of like piece by piece. Like originally we were using like shit mm -hmm. rigs because I was bad at drawing. We didn't know what we were doing. And now we got the skeletons, we got the bones. And I think a lot of the, uh, like the early DNA, we were trying to figure out what we wanted to do. We finally have it. And so it became hard to a bit to advertise what this thing is because it's not being, it was originally a podcast, but it's not being a podcast. Now it's a talk show and now it's more visual. But it's not quite what we want there. And so we think it's better to to make a new channel with everything to, you know, like we do these five episodes, we fully plan out what we want to do and just reintroduce everyone as the, the show. So think of it like, uh, remember in Aqua wow. Team Hunger Force? When when they had like the 100th episode and instead of like continuing the series they just renamed it like aqua tv show show it was the same thing <laughs> mm -hmm. that's what we're doing it's like that guys that's what we do. yeah. it's not a, it's not this is it's not a divorce yeah you know, we're still friends we be coming back with a new coat of paint uh jj's getting a new rig yeah. like he, he's still gotta draw yeah. a rig he's still gotta draw something yeah. and be inspired by it dev is gonna I get her own rig like her own art yeah. style and everything a new and background i'll actually be using character animator instead of uh video tube yeah dev that'd be great yeah that'd be that'd be great very easy to <laughs> yeah, do that, thanks 
Yeah, that would be great. Thanks. That'd be great for everyone, yeah, I would say. Yeah, just buy a fucking like Windows visual. already, all right? Yeah, just please. Yeah, she don't got Windows <laughs> Use the bad take to delete money. <laughs> what what, what <laughs> money? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we really don't argue. It's, 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 yeah. Uh, like so, yeah. Five grand. This is uh, episode one out of five for the last five, because we, we wanted to, like, tell you. We didn't TikTok. want, like, one more episode. TikTok on the clock. And the party Did don't catch stop, the song? no. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. And at the beginning, she says, like, I wake up and feel like P. Diddy. Wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. Got my glasses on the floor. I couldn't hit this city. When I was That's singing, not how I remember it at all. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she says it exactly like that. Exactly like that. No, when I was singing the car and she got, like, immediately the lyric, I wake up in the morning and I feel like P. Diddy. I was like, wait, hold on, hold on a second. What do you mean? Hold on. I wasn't a fan of that part. I wasn't either. part of the Like, no. You can re-record it, Kesha. <laughs> <laughs> you can make it any other celebrity. Wake up in the morning and if you like... Wait, what did P. Diddy do? You can make a difference. Uh, child trafficking. <gasps> really? So that's what Kesha was doing all the time in the morning. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> no, no further context. I that's a, that's the end of context. <laughs> that's the end of the episode, guys. I really had no idea. <laughs> child trafficking, Kesha. Child it's real. Child trafficking, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye, okay, everybody. Bye. Bye. Did you do a Chris Griffin impression? Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you oh so fucking God. negative all the time? Why are you so, are you fucking, so negative fucking negative all the time? <laughs> I swear to God. Thank you. Chris. <laughs> that was the closest I've ever gotten to Chris Griffin. You pulled that out of me somehow. I like that. <laughs> they keep making you do it. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <clears throat> that, you know what that video is from? What? The oh my God what? sound bite? It's not even from Family Guy. It's oh just a guy God. watching the fucking California wildfire. Yeah. He just, oh <laughs> he's reacting oh to his God. whole world burning in front of him. And then in, in like the, in the text, he says, brought up my inner Chris Griffin for some reason. <laughs> it's just him watching like the world burn to ash. He's like, oh my God. <laughs> Anyways, goodbye.